Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most paranormal places in the world. For this list, we'll be looking at the spookiest locations from around the globe that have garnered a reputation for being haunted by supernatural elements. What's the most paranormal place you've ever been to? Conjure up your tale in the comments below. Number 20. Lizzie Borden House, United States Today, the Lizzie Borden House in Fall River, Massachusetts, operates as a bed and breakfast, attracting curious tourists due to its disturbing history. Back in the late 19th century, the house belonged to Andrew Borden, who lived there with his daughter Lizzie and second wife Abby. On August 4, 1892, Andrew and Abby were slain in the house. Lizzie quickly came under suspicion, but she was acquitted after a sensational trial. Since then, guests believe that the building has been haunted by the ghosts of the slain couple, as well as that of Lizzie. Bizarre occurrences such as creaking floorboards, eerie laughter of children, and the appearance of ghostly faces on the walls have also been reported. Number 19. La Isla de las Muñecas, Mexico Along the banks of Lake Xochimilco in Mexico City sits a spooky location that is reminiscent of a horror movie scene. Known as La Isla de las Muñecas, or the Island of the Dolls, this area is filled with numerous decomposing dolls hung by the island's former owner, Don Julian Santana Barrera. It is said that Barrera started the eerie tradition after encountering the floating corpse of a girl and her doll. He initially hung the girl's toy to protect himself against evil spirits and continued the practice until his drowning in 2001, reportedly in the same spot as the girl. The island has attracted a steady stream of visitors, some claiming to observe the dolls moving and whispering to each other. Number 18. The Hellfire Club, Montpelier Hill, Ireland With such a name, it's no wonder visitors to this site have reported feeling the ground shake and hearing voices telling them to get out. The Hellfire Club sits atop Montpelier Hill in Dublin, Ireland. Once a summer hunting lodge, it was built by William Connolly, the Speaker of the Irish House of Commons, using stones from a local memorial. Not long after, supernatural claims began to dog the building after its roof was ripped off by a storm, deemed a punishment for tampering with the memorial. Adding to the enigma, the Irish Hellfire Club, renowned for their hedonistic ways, took over ownership. Local legend has it that during this era, animal sacrifices and sightings of hybrid creatures were common. Number 17. Myrtle's Plantation, United States In August of 2001, the paranormal TV show Unsolved Mysteries aired an episode which investigated the ghosts that allegedly walked the hallways of the Myrtle's Plantation. Built in 1796, this antebellum house in St. Francisville, Louisiana is said to have been the location of 10 murders. Although only one of those has been verified by historical records, multiple ghosts reportedly haunt the building. Perhaps the most notable of them is Chloe, a slave on the plantation who allegedly lost her life at the hands of other slaves after she poisoned the owner's wife and his two daughters. It's also believed that Myrtle's was built on an ancient Native American burial ground, further contributing to the reported hauntings. Number 16. Drau Scholm Schlut, Denmark Originally built around 1215, Drausholm Schlott, or Drausholm Castle, stands as one of Denmark's oldest and most haunted buildings. During the 16th and 17th century, it was used to house noble prisoners, such as James Hepburn, the fourth Earl of Bothwell, who was once married to Mary Queen of Scots. According to reports, Hepburn still haunts the castle, often seen in the courtyard riding a horse-drawn carriage. Hepburn is just one of over 100 ghosts believed to reside within the Drausholm Schlott. Others include Selena Bovels, known as the White Lady, whose remains were reportedly found in the castle's basement in a white dress, as well as another spectral woman referred to as the Grey Lady. Number 15. Salem, Massachusetts, United States The mere mention of the name Salem conjures up the memory of its infamous witch trials. Between February 1692 and May 1693, over 200 people were unjustly accused of witchcraft, with 20 of them facing fatal consequences following a sensational trial. Over 300 years later, the impact of this dark past endures, as Salem is believed to be haunted by the tormented spirits of the victims. 
Among them, Bridget Bishop, the first woman executed during the ordeal, is said to still inhabit the property she owned, which is now a popular restaurant. Residents also claim to hear voices at the old Burying Point Cemetery, where the judges who presided over the trials are interred. Number 14. Monte Cristo Homestead, Australia Regarded as Australia's most haunted house, the Monte Cristo Homestead was erected in the town of Juni, New South Wales, by Christopher William Crawley in 1885. Over the next six decades, the house accumulated a macabre record. One of the Crawley's maids reportedly fell to her death from a balcony, and a stable boy sustained fatal injuries from a fire. A child of theirs also passed away after falling down a flight of stairs. Since the property sold in 1963, the subsequent owners have reported seeing apparitions they claim to belong to those who lost their lives in the house. Today, the Monte Cristo homestead doubles as an antique museum and bed and breakfast, open to those seeking a brush with the paranormal. Number 13. Catacombs of Paris, France Underneath the city lights of Paris lies the eerie catacombs, which houses the skeletal remains of over 6 million people. Originating in the late 18th century due to an overflowing of the city's cemeteries, the tunnel has since become a tourist attraction. However, with countless corpses confined to one location, uncanny occurrences abound. A group of enthusiasts once reportedly found a camera containing footage of someone who got lost and never made it out. Other ghostly sightings include that of Philibert Asper, a doorman who was also trapped in the tunnel. Legend has it that after midnight, the catacombs echo with voices of the dead, luring wanderers deeper into the tunnel until they join the ranks of lost souls. Number 12. Tower of London, England Throughout its near 1,000-year history, the Tower of London has served as a fortress, a royal residence, a prison, and an execution site. The castle saw over 20 deaths, including that of Queen Anne Boleyn, who was famously beheaded in May 1536 at the behest of her husband, King Henry VIII. To date, visitors often recount glimpses of a headless Boleyn walking the corridors with her head in her hands. Others claim to have cited the ghost of Guy Fawkes, whose failed assassination plot landed him behind bars at the tower. It is said that his ghost can be heard screaming in torment as he relives the torture he faced over and over and over again. Number 11. Aokigahara Forest, Japan Situated at the northwest base of Mount Fuji in Japan is a dense and isolated forest known as Aokigahara. At first glance, Aokigahara is a captivating region that can evoke images of beauty and serenity for some visitors. However, beneath all of that, the forest has gained a notorious reputation due to the alarming number of people who have chosen to take their own lives within its depths. The tragic phenomenon occurred so frequently that Japanese officials placed signs in the forest to discourage such actions. Due to this troubled history, it's believed that the yurei, or ghosts, of those who met their untimely end in the forest continue to inhabit its ground long after their demise. Number 10. The Stanley Hotel, United States In the words of horror icon Stephen King, every big hotel has got a ghost. Whether the poltergeists arrived before or after the author's stay at Colorado's Stanley Hotel in 1974 is up for debate. However, the hotel's reputation for being one of the most haunted places in America certainly isn't. It famously served as the inspiration for King's seminal 1977 novel, The Shining, and has been attracting ghost hunters and paranormal experts ever since. Some staff members claim to have seen phantom maids cleaning up after guests, particularly in room 217, the one mentioned in King's novel, and where the author himself slept during his stay. Number 9. La Wang Sewu, Indonesia in Indonesia, you'll find centuries-old temples, breathtaking rice fields, and one of the most paranormal places on Earth. La Wang Seyu once served as the headquarters of the Dutch East Indies Railway Company, and legend has it that a Dutch woman took her own life there. During World War II, it was used by the Japanese as a prison, with executions said to have taken place in the basement of Building B. Lawang Sewu, which means Thousand Doors, is also said to be the home of a Kuntilana, a female vampiric spirit in Malay mythology. In 2007, it served as the setting for an Indonesian horror film about a group of teenagers who become trapped there. 
Number 8. Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel, Canada One look at this iconic Canadian establishment is enough to raise suspicions of paranormal activity. Taking inspiration from the Scottish baronial style of architecture that experienced a resurgence of popularity in the 19th century, the Banff Springs Hotel would look right at home in any modern horror film. Opened in 1888, the hotel has since developed a reputation for being haunted, thanks to a number of odd things that have happened there. Sam McCauley, a bellman from the 1960s, is said to still roam the halls, as does a young bride who fell down the stairs on her wedding day and broke her neck. Rumor has it she still dances in the ballroom on occasion. Number 7. Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, United States Prisons and the paranormal go together like a witch and a broomstick. Need convincing? Take a trip to Alcatraz. The former prison is said to be one of the most haunted places in America, with everyone from tourists to guards claiming they've heard strange noises echoing throughout its derelict halls. The island has played host to numerous paranormal television shows, hoping to catch a glimpse of a ghost, ghoul, or spirit. This isn't America's only historic haunted slammer either. The long defunct Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia has its own scary history of paranormal activity. Number 6. Castle of Good Hope, South Africa Built in the 17th century, this paranormal landmark lies in the South African city of Cape Town. Claims have been made for over a century that the Castle of Good Hope is haunted by a slew of different apparitions. One, the so-called Lady in Grey, has been seen numerous times running through the castle while crying hysterically. Another was seen leaping from the castle's battlements in 1947. Some say that even the castle's bell is haunted, some locals claiming that it will sometimes ring on its own. Despite or perhaps because of these stories, the Castle of Good Hope remains a popular tourist attraction. Number 5. Corvin Castle, Romania Don't be fooled by this castle's picturesque exterior. It's considered to be among the most haunted places in the entire world. Located in the historical region of Transylvania, yeah, that one, Corvin Castle once played host to Vlad the Impaler, also known as the bloodthirsty 15th century ruler who partially inspired one of the greatest horror villains of all time. Count Dracula. Also known as the Hunyadi or the Hunedoara Castle, it's been the site of numerous ghost sightings over the years, and countless films and TV shows have shot there due to its gothic look. Regardless of whether the stories are true, we would rather take our chances sleeping outside than spend the night in this castle of horrors. Number 4. Bangar Fort, India Bangar Fort is widely considered to be the most haunted place in all of India. Once upon a time, the area surrounding the fort was a thriving town, complete with temples, bazaars, and even a royal palace. But legend has it that one day a wizard fell in love with the fort's princess and attempted to win her affections by presenting her with a secret love potion. Suspicious, she cast him aside and destroyed the potion, killing him in the process. Before he died, he cursed the princess and the Bangar fort. Shortly after it was sacked, it was never to be inhabited again. The curse was never lifted, and the Bangar Fort remains one of the creepiest abandoned forts on Earth. Number 3. Povelia, Italy In a lagoon not far from Venice lies the island of Povelia, one of Italy's most paranormal locations. It served as a quarantine zone for people suffering from the plague for almost a hundred years, and in 1922 was converted into a mental asylum. Some claim that the patients were used for human experimentation and torture. Today, the island is abandoned, but because of its checkered past, it remains a hotspot for paranormal investigators searching for proof of an afterlife. It's off limits to tourists, but the morbidly curious have been known to visit anyways. Finding someone to ferry them there is difficult, however, as many of the locals are scared to death of the island. Number 2. Chateau de Brisac, France This 11th century castle has a rich and storied history, and like all good ghost stories, there is a little blood involved. The most popular tale involves La Dame Verte, or Green Lady. The supposed illegitimate child of a French king, the Green Lady was murdered in the castle by her husband when he discovered her infidelity. Today, she roams the halls of the chateau, moaning and scaring the occasional guest. Still wearing her green dress, La Dame Verte is said to no longer have eyes or a nose, just three dark holes. Today, the castle remains open for tours, and if you're feeling bold, overnight stays. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ancient Ram Inn, England Built more than 870 years ago, the Ancient Ram Inn lies in the English district of Gloucestershire, 
and is said to be the home of many evil ghosts and spirits. Some people claim the inn gets this dark energy from the ley lines it resides upon, which can be traced all the way back to Stonehenge, and are said to contain high spiritual energy. Others postulate during construction of the inn, a portal was opened that unleashed a bevy of evil spirits. The focus of many a paranormal program, the Ancient Ram Inn, is diverse in its hauntings, supposedly home to various apparitions, including a centurion and a monk. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.